The Namibian delegation during a meeting again expressed disappointment with the agency for downgrading the country's credit rating to junk status, overlooking the measures government took to save the economy in turbulent times. Government maintains the agency's reasons were rather subjective and questioned why communication was only done through email, instead of sending a delegation to Namibia to assess the situation on the ground. We want to just um, let you know that that is not what we see is, is a proper way in how these rating, uh, rating actions are taken, because you are aware that just as well as we are, these rating actions have very severe consequences in the, in the economy. Mm -hmm. um, if the consultation was not proper, we may differ in, 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 in the take. And I think that was at the, um, at the core of the last action. We, we do not want to be seen that we will quarrel with you when we are downgraded and we are loading you when we are upgraded. That is not, that is not the case. The finance minister further wanted to know how the run-up to Swapo Party Congress would overrun government's budget statement, saying Namibia has carried out elections in the past and managed both government and party spending. We, we are aware that your rating activity is, is done to give security to funds, whether it is well, any investor who wants to invest in, 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 in Namibia is looking at it and that's why we are so serious about it. Mm -hmm. It has very serious impact on our ability to, to grow the economy, to get investment into mm -hmm. the country and the difference between investment grade and uh, non-investment grade is, is significant. The Moody's head of where, sovereign where ratings, Alistair view, Wilson, says there uh, is a much higher risk politically during national elections but the statement should be linked to geopolitics. I mean, I, 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 I suspect it was taken out, and it was taken out because it wasn't considered to be a particularly significant feature. I mean, it's a fact that we do see there is a much higher expectation, a much higher probability that um, fiscal policy will be loose in the run-up to perhaps not party elections, but um, national elections. We see it. Uh, and I think what we're saying in there is simply that saying political risk has increased, it's a it's a reasonable and based on experience statement that we have le greater, we have less certainty. Mines and Energy Minister Obeth Ganjo, however, countered Moody's view, saying the statement was issued without any proof. So geopolitically, generally speaking, you extrapolate that to be applicable to Namibia, or how do you confine a situation of that same nature to particularly speak to the conditions as you rate? The Moody's Investor Services will visit Namibia in November and says it understands government's disappointment but comfortable with its judgment for now. Blanche Corres, NBC News, London, UK.